uh, I think you can incorporate um, the discourse from the periphery in the center and see how actually what has happened in the periphery in the peripheral regions, at least in Latin America, has influenced the discourse, for example, of artist uh, uh, artist work here. Especially, I'm referring especially like during the 60s, because it's the time that I have studied. I think there's still a, li a lot to be done a lot to be done, but I know that there's also a lot going on. So I I would say that what we still need to do is to find the ways in which in Latin America things have communicated, you know, with them, like themselves. So, and how artists have produced work and how artists have communicated or not uh, through their practices in Latin America. So I think that those like connections uh, could be even more uh, studied. Well, I think the, most of the practice in the '60s, uh, you can you can trace back like people opening paths. You know, the, the person that I have studied, Felisa Burstein, is one of them, and I can t I can talk f like through her work, and I can understand how her work opened opened many paths. But at the same time, I understand that prior to that, some like other things happened that has not been like have not been studied well too. And at the same time, I know that what, what happened in the 90s uh, was useful for us uh, as students in the 90s to be, or 2000s, to be um, um, introduced to the, like, the contemporary art category. You know? Uh, I don't. I don't like it that much. I don't. I. I rather say that it's situated, because also because of my practice, I think that there's a contextual uh, need. Uh, there's a need to understand the context, and there's a need to understand the contextual. So I would say that it's better to say that there is a situated pra practice, and that has a reason for existing in that moment at that at that place, and in that way. Like there's there are forms that express within a certain context that have to be, I think, um, like represented or that have to be talked about. And I think global art has this dangerous, um, dangerous, uh, like, exception or tone to it. It's, it could be also, like, mar market-driven, if you want. I think well, there's there's a need for the visibility too, because that means that there's dialogue. Well, what I have done is I studied a case, a particular artist, and from that I have understood the context, right? And that's also how I work uh, in my practice. But um, I, I wouldn't say that that's an obligatory path, you know. Like I wouldn't say that there's a, prefer, a preferred path.